Dean Bergman, uh, welcome to Australia in Space TV here at the 40th Space Symposium. It's a real pleasure to have Honeybee Robotics on Australia in Space TV. Thanks yeah, for joining us. Thanks for inviting me. It's great to be here. Uh, Dean, uh, Honeybee Honey Robotics has been going for some time, since the yes. 90s, uh, now owned by Blue Origin. Correct. Uh, this follows on from our interview with Dr. Jackie Quinn at the Kennedy Space Centre, who uh, introduced us to Prime One mission, yes. uh, which was an IM two uh, launch it yes. just landed on the moon and uh, honeybee robotics was responsible for the trident uh, drill yes, correct and trident being an acronym um, <laughs> and i was studying it back then but introduced us to honeybee robotics you're doing some fascinating work uh, yes. and quite broad as well right yeah so honeybee's been around for over 40 years now uh, we started off doing all sorts of robotics um, from the budweiser and coca-cola signs in times square to a robotic bartender um, and then early 2000s, we got into the space industry uh, with the Mars Exploration Rovers. Uh, since then, we've become mostly space. We still do some oil and gas and mining um, and some terrestrial work, um, but mostly focused uh, with uh, space robotics. And we kind of do everything. We do mobility systems and drilling and sample handling, robotic arms, kind of whatever you need for space, right. we can do it. And is it the, the team structure that you've got? What's, what's, what, what makes Honeybee uh, Robotics special? And, and obviously for Blue Origin to, to buy and acquire it. Correct. So Blue Origin's owned us for three years now. We fall into their in-space systems division. Um, so Tiny B itself is split into two groups. We have a motion control division in Colorado and an exploration systems in California. Motion control uh, focuses on the building blocks of spacecraft, like solar ray drives, actuators, kind of the building blocks of your robotic system. And then exploration systems will do your full robotic system for you. Where, like I said, mobility systems, um, offloading systems, drills, kind of everything. And our niche is robotics for extreme environments. Right. Uh, so really the difficult problems is, is what we're solving. Um, and then our, internally to exploration systems, uh, we kind of split by project. So we'll have about 40 to 50 active projects at any one time uh, with engineers dedicated to them. One thing we always take interest in is the space applications, but then having that back and bringing it back to Earth for terrestrial yes. applications. Uh, how, where is that at? I suppose is there something you've got a list of stuff that you can do? Uh, it came up when, when I was speaking to Jackie in terms of uh, just what the Trident drill was designed to do, yes. uh, with that precision as well, Correct. Uh, and how that could apply here on Earth for mining operations, for example. Yeah, exactly. So we work a lot with oil and gas and mining. You know, obviously our Trident drill is somewhat smaller yeah. than the, um, the drilling systems on Earth, um, but we work a lot with you know, concepts like miners of the future and smart drilling, kind of getting autonomy um, into areas where people can't go. So, you know, deep down hole in a drill hole is kind of similar to being in space. You right. can't just go down and fix it. It has to be fairly autonomous or, you know, remote controlled and be very, fairly robust that it's going to sub survive these harsh environments um, and be able to, you know, come back and, and drill another Are hole. you doing uh, subterranean uh, robotics as well? Yeah. Yes, yeah, we're doing a little bit of everything. We've done some drone work, we've done some deep drilling, deep mines. Um, so, you know, uh, we've got a couple of studies going on right now with different um, companies, some uh, deep drilling um, uh, projects too. Well, I suppose that may be a good uh, sort of way to finish off. What, what, any announcements during uh, the Space Symposium or what's uh, looking uh, like for the rest of 2025? Yeah, so our big news right now is that uh, we just won a contract with Firefly Aerospace to right. fly a uh, rover to the moon. Um, it's with the, uh, the PRISM payload suites uh, from NASA. Uh, and so we're going to be flying a rover to the moon in 2028, which Fantastic. we're super excited about. And yeah. We've got a little bit of payload space uh, still available if anyone wants it. Okay, and, good. Yeah. So yeah, we're just super excited about that. And you know, 2025 is all about getting ready for Artemis V um, and you know, getting large amounts of cargo to the moon um, after that. How exciting do you find uh, not just the technology, but the number of missions coming out? Oh, as well? it is so exciting! It's unprecedented the amount of missions we have going on right now. So it's just such a great time to be in the, in the space industry. Well, in your role as a BDM, uh, yeah. Dean Bergman, uh, the, with the Honeybee Robotics, a uh, very exciting role that you have. I do yes. uh, say it's a real job, but uh, <laughs> you're really at the forefront as yes. well. Uh, hopefully, we'll see you at IAC Definitely. in Sydney. Yeah. 
Yes. We're going to try and get you over to Perth as well. But thank you very much for joining us on Australia and Space TV here yeah. at the 40th Space Symposium. And we're here at the Honeybee Robotics Stamp. Thanks yeah, very thanks much. Thanks so much for having me.